<laughs> What's your relationship with Brady like now? Tom? Oh, the uh, relationship with Brady is great. I just seen him up at training camp, um, uh, you know, about a week ago. You know, we got to chop it up a little bit. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we, we we go back. I was I sold Brady his first home. He bought my home uh, when he wasn't making any money. And I signed a new contract. So I sold Brady my house. I left all the furniture, the TVs, the pool tables and all that because he was, a, you know, he was a you know Michigan guy. You had to take him up under the wing, and he was a you know a relative you know nobody at the time. He was just you know barely on the team, and so I had to take care of him. You know, actually uh, left about a hundred and twenty thirty grand on the table I was about too. To say you gave yeah. him a hometown yeah, discount. Yeah, I gave him a hometown discount. But like I can say he was moving ready. All he had to do was bring his bags in. So he remembers that and appreciates that. But now you know Tom Brady he has blossomed to who he is right now, it's and amazing. I can probably. Fit my whole house in his kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Oh man, you know, and he this week uh, on his weekly radio appearance up in Boston. I mean, it was all rose petals about talking about Belichick. In mm -hmm. a way, I mean, and he was just pleading the fifth. You know, uh, a couple of months ago, what what is the real relationship between him and Bill? You know, well, I think uh, it's they have a good relationship. They do. I know, and I and I think. They respect one another. They won a lot of championships together. They lot of a, a lot of football games. They're going to go down as the greatest quarterback coach combo in the history of teams uh, in NFL or team sports. Period. So, you know, my question to people when they talk about the relationship: if you've been in any type of relationship, whether it's your job, whether it's a marriage, for 18 years, you're bound to have some disagreements. You're bound to have some issues with your boss. Something. You know what I mean? So I think because of the, the platform and who they are uh, in this world today with social media and all, everything gets blown out of proportion, but you're not going to always get along. I didn't always get along with every coach, even though I love and respect them. We're trying to accomplish the same things as far as championships and winning football games, and that's the same thing with Coach Belichick and Tom Brady. They're going to keep it in-house. You know, a couple things got out, and I think more speculation than anything, and it created this story. But you have never seen those two guys buy into it because when you see them talking, it's about love, respect, and winning football games. Um, are they out there having dinner every other week? Probably not. But at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, they know who they are and they know what their relationship is about. And the trainer, that's no, there's, that's nothing to see here? The fact that he, he told Alex Guerrero to go across the street? Alice Guerrero was already across the street. Well, I mean, we're told him that he couldn't come into the facility, period. Well, that's not true either because, I, like I said, I was just at training camp and Alice Guerrero was right there still working with Tom at the facility. He wasn't here. And so I don't understand what this whole hoopla is all about because after practice, and the one thing that I must note about Tom Brady as well, they had just got done with practice. What does he do? He goes and trains again with Alex Guerrero. They're out there doing his throwing motions and things like that. In the stadium, so he's done practicing while everyone's showering. Tom Brady is still trying, is still so great that he's going above and beyond, and he's one of the oldest in the league, definitely the oldest in that locker room, and he's the one out there still practicing while everybody's taking a shower with Alex Guerrero. He says he wants to play till twenty twenty at least. Gotta, I believe him, I and, and, and and he can as long as you protect him. You know he's going to go out there and play as long as uh, as long as he feel he can be effective. Why? Right? I mean, he's got. Now, just he's got it. That's all. who he is. He's always feeling like he has something to prove, even though we all know there is nothing else to prove. There is no argument about who the goat is when it comes to the quarterback position anymore. I don't want to hear arguably take that word out of it when you talk to Tom Brady. He is definitely the greatest quarterback who's ever you know laced him up, and that's without a doubt. So he still within his within himself feels like he has something to prove. And that's what makes him great. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.